people, I want to talk about a couple things. Uh, I just want to show you, first of all, my wall behind me. My, uh, I'm, I'm redoing my studio here. My sister sent me these really cool things as part of my gift uh, for the studio. Joan, thank you very much. Okay, I want to talk about a couple things. Uh, I did an interview with Danny Trio yesterday. It did very well, 25 minutes watch time. Uh, it's over 2,000 views, probably going to go to three. Uh, am I happy with those numbers? Yes. I'm a small, smaller channel. I'm happy with those numbers. The day before that, I did an interview, almost 5,000 views. So this supposed dying channel it actually is doing quite well right now. Uh, my website is doing quite well. Also, average anywhere from eight to 10,000 views a month on the blog there. And I want to thank people for that. But I got to speak about something that, that happened. Very odd, peculiar. I was very surprised yesterday. I did an interview with Danny Trio. Now, Danny Trio was in the streets with the Columbos. He did hard time for uh, robbery and murder. Um, served his time, came out and turned his life around. I had them on, people loved them. I had so many, uh, I, hundreds of people on Facebook absolutely love uh, the interview. Most of the people here love the interview, but yet there were a couple people that didn't. And I wanna, I wanna uh, explain myself in that. I did an interview yesterday and asked questions. Not one time did I ever say anything about Angel Gotti, Gotti in a negative way. But yet to my surprise last night, uh, uh, this fake military guy, uh, Chicago uh, Muscle, I believe. I hate calling him that name because he probably has no muscles. But oh, muscle cars, whatever he's in love with there. But Chicago Muscle, I'm a father of three military children. One still active, a sergeant in the, in, in, in the Army. All three of my children have been overseas. Two of my children have actually been in the war zone when the war was going on. I sat by my phone at night and I worried about my children many, many times because I didn't hear from them for weeks at a time sometimes. And you claim to be a military man. And this is why, this is why I don't believe you. Because no military man would act like you toward other military men. You yap away like Ralph. You're the Ralph Cramden of the Honeymooners. Remember him? The raspy three cigarette pack a day voice insulting people and attacking people. And now that you're worshiping at the altar of Angel Gotti. Listen, I have no problem with Angel. I only wish Angel the best. I did an interview yesterday and I asked questions of Danny Trejo. People loved the interview. Very few people said anything negative about it. The negativity came from Chicago Muscle, who was worshiping at, at the altar of Angel Gotti, and uh, Angel Gotti. Uh, I didn't hear anything from Angel Gotti, but uh, supposedly from uh, Chicago Muscle, she's mad, so he's going to defend her honor. You could defend her honor, dude. I never said nothing negative about her. And instead of insulting people and attacking people with your silly little channel, I got an idea. Lee Cole 1010 at Gmail. That is my email. Email me. If I know it's really you, Chicago Muscle, I will give you my phone number. And you could talk to me about how bad of a guy I am. And you know what? I'll even promise you that your call's not being recorded. I'll agree to anything you have to say. But you won't do it. You know why? Because you're one of these guys that need your, uh, your channel to be a tough guy. Do you think that you can intimidate me with all the things that have happened to me on these channels? I've been called every name in the book, every line that you can imagine that's been created about me. From being a drug addict, child molester, kidnapping, we can go on and on and on. But here, I, yet I stand right here and I'm still going strong. And I'm putting out good stuff. And I've been staying out of the fucking beefs. But yet, when I do an interview, and if Angel Gotti doesn't like it, there's certain people that jump in and say, leave Angel alone. No one said nothing about Angel. I never mentioned her name. My guest did, and he never even said anything negative. He was positive about John Gotti. He said John Gotti was a real man, was a tough-ass gangster. He was, even though he said that John Jr. did a 302, which he did, he still defended him even. 
and he even had nice things to say about Angel defending her family, and yet that was not enough. We're supposed to watch everything we say on these channels, but that's not the way it goes. There's other people doing shows all the time, Angel, anti gaudy stuff. I don't hear you saying a damn word about them. You just want to, like, for some reason, you're hate for me. Anything I did negative to you, I apologize to you for. It's still not enough. You want to continue creating this beef that doesn't exist. And as for Gene Barillo, you got a court case against Gene Barillo. You don't got a court case against me, Angel. And if you want to sue me, it'll be laughed and thrown out of court because there's nothing you could sue me for. Instead of having people like, like uh, th this clown, Chicago Muscle, who thinks people scared of him, the ultimate coward, pretends he's a military man. No military man would go after another military man the way he does. Or a man that has the amount of people that it's in my family that's in the military. And I was talking to Danny Trio about this. And so here's what we're going to do, Chicago Muscle. You want to live up to your billing as Mr. Tough Guy? We'll be on 3 o'clock doing a live on Friday. Angel, you're welcome on. Chicago Muscle, you're welcome on to talk about what's going on. I just gave out my email once more, leecole1010 at gmail. If either one of you want to write me and discuss what's going on, do so. Stop using this platform to, have, to, to talk about your beef with me. Chicago Muscle, I've never said nothing negative about you in a long time. You attacked me a few months ago, and then you attacked me last night and said, I'm giving you a warning. This is a one-time warning. Dude, fuck you and your warning. You don't scare me. And then you threaten to come after people on my channel to find out who they are. You publicly threatened out in the open to go after another content creator's channel and harass his viewers. So basically what you're doing is you're breaking all the bylaws that are created by YouTube. But you don't care. Because you're just like this guy that's probably never had no, nothing, nothing. And all of a sudden you got this channel in front of you and you could use it to attack people. And then you say, oh, I put this one out of business. I put this one out of business. Um, FBS is still here. Tony is still here. They're all still here. So in your mind, you're a fucking legend. I'm not going anywhere. My show is going forward, not backwards. And I'm going to continue to do the interviews I'm doing. And if people have opinions, they have opinions. Angel, I'm not going to come out and say anything negative about you. And I haven't. But if I bring on a guest that says something negative, which he did not. Are you kidding me? We're not allowed to talk about John Jr. doing a 302? And we didn't even bash him? We went after John A. Light harder than anybody? We went after Jimmy Calandra? What's the matter? You upset that I'm talking about the snitches? This is like a joke, people. Us content creators, we put up stuff. And other people need to mind their own business. If YouTube doesn't like what we do, YouTube will take care of us. But I stay within the guidelines of YouTube. And then to have this clown threaten to uh, hit me, which, let me tell you something. I've had several strikes filed on me by other content, perform, uh, uh, content creators. And every one of them has been rejected. Every one of them. Because you could do that. You could file claims against me, but the same thing is going to happen. They're going to be rejected because I make sure that I stay within the guidelines. Chicago Muscle, you did not stay within the guidelines yesterday. You did a show where you literally threatened to go after my viewers 
my subs and hunt them down and find out their information. That you can't do. That's a violation of bylaws. So Chicago Muscle, you're wasting your breath with me. And I know with those three packs of cigarettes that you smoke a day, you don't have that much breath. But I made you an offer. I will be on 3 o'clock on Friday. Be a man. Not the fake biker. Not the fake military man you pretend to be. Anybody could put up a big... Hey, I got pictures of gangsters behind me. I'm a gangster. Oh, let me put up a picture of bikers on my page and I'm a biker. Hey, maybe you are a biker. I don't know if you're a biker. But do I look like I'm worried about you? Do I look like I'm even a little worried about you? No, but I am telling you point blank. When you threaten my channel and threaten the people that watch my channel, then I have an issue. Then I will do what I have to do legally to deal with your threats. And you made those threats yesterday. And then you went out and said, Lee's threatened because he's afraid I'm going to kick my... I'm not afraid of you kicking my ass, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Kicking. You ain't kicking nobody's ass. A guy that doesn't show his face and talks about how tough he is is usually not tough. But you got my email. And I'll even give you my phone number if you contact me. And we could talk about this. You're saying talk about this. Then you're talking about my pride. Yeah, I got my pride. When you're talking about coming after my subs and stuff, like a little wussy. Yeah, I got pride. I'll fight you real fucking hard. I've been in a battle with FBS for eight months. And I can guarantee you, you one-tenth the fighter that motherfucker is. You don't show your face. You're just one of those cowards that talks loud. And now you're talking about me and MRE. I hope to God MRE isn't involved with you because that would bring him down 10 notches. But if you think that you're going to intimidate me in any way, you're kidding yourself. So myself and Danny Trio will be on Friday at 3 o'clock. Be a man. Be a man and come and talk to us. You don't even have to show your face. I know you don't want to show that leather skin, yellow face of yours from three packs of cigarettes a day and fucking beer in one hand and probably a bottle of vodka in the other fucking hand. I know exactly who you are, dude. You want to play the game. Play the game. I'm not going to talk about you after this. I'm putting this video up. I've answered you. If you want to worship at the altar of Angel Gotti, you go right ahead and worship at her altar. Go right ahead. Because I don't really care. And as for you, Angel, I have no issues with you, Angel. God bless you. I hope your show do good, does good. I respect the fact that you're great with animals. And uh, you, the show that you got, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the, um, the money that you collect for the animals, I really appreciate really says a lot about you. I'm sure you're a good woman, but you're just getting me wrong. You're trying to make me into the devil I'm not. And I'm not going to mention you, Angel. I'm not going to even talk about you, Angel. This is going to be the last time I'm going to put this video up, but I will defend myself. And I'm not going to be like muscle and threaten to beat people up because no one knows who I am and I hide. I'm not going to do that. God almighty, I did a show yesterday blasting the shit out of some of the biggest rats. And because your name got barely mentioned, but it got mentioned. You forgot the fact that we hit John A. Light on that. We hit Jimmy Calandra. You forgot all about that. And you know what? Personally, I don't really know if you contacted him. He basically said you were crying to him about me doing my show yesterday. People, here's my challenge to anybody. Go through my show and tell me one time where I mentioned anything negative about Angel Gotti in that video. Not one time. My guest was on. He made some claims. But he didn't attack nobody. 
And this is a man that's been out in the street. He knows these people. He has the right to say what he wants. But you know what? Do you think that any of you guys are going to walk up to Danny Trio and say a goddamn word to him? Hell no. You do that with me. But you go right ahead and underestimate me. I've had every fucking clown on here attacking me at one time or another. Still here. And I'll be here in a year from now. If you want to file claims and try to get my channel, go right ahead. Because all it does is affects the person attacking me because I'm not breaking any rules. Does anybody get that? I do not have one strike against me. Ever. Not one. Other people can't say that on here. And Chicago Muscle, read the bylaws. Read the bylaws, because you've been warned about threatening my channel. I even gave you the times last night on your uh, page. And when I put that up, you, you didn't even understand why I put it up. Here's why I put it up. I wanted to show you exact time stamps of when you threatened my channel. I don't care about you threatening me because you're not going to do anything. But I do care when you threaten another uh, content creator's show. So you go right ahead and do that. My best advice to you, Chicago Muscle, is walk the walk, talk the talk. Which one is it, dude? Because you sure the hell ain't walking the walk as a military man. Not when you're attacking a father of three military children. My family is much more involved in the military than yours. I can guarantee you that. And shame on you for attacking a military family because you're worshiping at the altar of Angel Gotti. And Angel, I have no issues with you. You just want to keep this going. You got other content creators out there saying shit about you. Your family, so so viciously, but you don't say a damn word to them. Why the fuck is that? Because you think I'm some timid old man? This is a timid old man with a whole lot of fight in him. That's it, people. I'm not going to talk about this crap anymore. I'm going to get back. I'm going to be doing a live with Danny Trio at 3 o'clock on Friday. It's going to be a QA. and a Anybody in the audience that wants to come in and ask questions, anybody that's not a simp and being rude is more than welcome to come in and ask questions. If you disagree with me or Danny, you're welcome to come in and debate what you're saying. There's no problem with that. But if you're coming in to curse and swear and call people names, you're not going to last long in the chat. That's it, people. Uh, have a beautiful day. Today, it's a beautiful day here. And I just wanted to uh, address this wannabe tough guy. But he's not tough. You know why? Because he won't get contacted by email. He won't talk to me. He'll do this. He goes after FBS for the same shit he does. They both do the same thing. They attack people through their shows. That's what they do. They don't talk. They don't try to work things out behind the scenes. They just attack. But you know, at least with FBS, you know what you're getting. With this clown... Uh, Chicago muscle, he hides his face. We No one knows who he is. All we know is that he smokes three packs of cigarettes a day, has a raspy voice and a drinking problem, and pretends he's a military man. Okay, people, everybody take care. Please sub to the channel. I hope you like this video. I don't really want to do this video, but I'm not going to be intimidated by some clown. Thank you, people.